Deshaun Watson can suck my nuts and the Browns are screwed. Here's why. I know there's a million and one ways that you can crunch these numbers and say whatever you want to for how we're spending as far as Deshaun Watson's contract, but here's how I'm going to break it down for you. It basically comes out to about $50 million a year every year for five years. All right, $230 million is what we're spending as a guaranteed income for his contract, plus we paid him a $45 million signing bonus. You are telling me that we are spending $50 million a year on a man who has spent more time sitting on the bench than actually playing football. This is absolutely insane. All right, he is 8-4 and four in the games that he has played. Yeah, you heard me right. He's only played 12 goddamn games in the entire time that he has been on the Cleveland Browns team. Jimmy Haslam must literally just be swimming in money like Scrooge McDuck because there is no way that I can see somebody wasting this kind of money on somebody. I get it. They wouldn't trade with us. Okay, I understand. We could not get a fucking quarterback to save our asses. So what did we do? We went and we found the one that we could and we paid out the ass to get him. Okay, but you know what? You found somebody better in the interim. The guy who actually took you to the fucking playoffs last year was Joe fucking Flacco. And what did you do? You didn't want to put him as a starter, so so he ended up leaving. You lost him. You had him in your hands. You had the quarterback that you needed to get the team going, and he was cheaper than fucking Watson. You're going to have to pay Watson no matter what. What happens if he twists his ankle second game? What happens if he oh no, takes a bad hit and is just out for another year? Are you Are you really? Is that the deal that you want? We have a $250 million fucking baby that can't fucking play. He is not what you are paying for that for that kind of money. You should be getting a like the, the number one quarterback in the league. Actually, you can't because guess what? Because we upped Watson's salary to the highest anybody had been paid in the league, all the other fucking quarterbacks got their salaries bumped too. Guys who are better than him are getting paid more. Look, we got Dak Prescott just kicked our fucking ass, just beat Deshaun Watson. He's getting paid $65 million a year. We got Joe Burrow, $55 million a year. And, I mean, look, this, this kind of money is absolutely insane. You should. We fucked the entire economy of football in the ass, drove the price through the roof, and for what? We should have cut this son of a bitch, get him out, pay Flacco 10, 20 million, whatever the fuck he wants, name his fucking price because he took us to the damn playoffs. And there's the other problem. It wasn't just Joe, all right? It was basically all of our second string guys that actually finished the season last year. No wonder the managers and the coordinators were so tight-lipped about any information about our first string guys. Our starters fucking suck. No wonder we didn't see them at any practice games because they because they're uncoordinated. There's no leadership. I keep hearing everybody say, "Oh, Watson's great. Watson's great." You know, all all the guys love him. All the guys love him. Yeah, you can talk a big game in the fucking locker room and you can pal around with these guys, but there's no fucking leadership. There is no body there who is actually getting shit done on that damn field. Moore did okay catching one time. Uh, Najoku caught one time did pretty good. I remember when Flacco was out there and he was throwing bombs to both of them. They, you couldn't stop them. That was a trifecta right there. And what did we do? We lost the guy who could throw and I get it. Flacco couldn't run. That's all well and good. You don't have, if you, okay, fine. You don't want to cut him. You don't want to cut Watson. Fine. And Flacco wants to be a starter. Okay. Guess what? Flacco gets to make the very first play of every fucking game that we do. Garen fucking teed. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you need to run the ball, you put Watson in. Watson does the second one. That's how That's how you do it. That's how you do it. He wants to be the starter. You start him because, because you need that thing in your back pocket. You need to have that multi-purpose tool in your pocket. And we don't have any multi-purpose tools. We don't. We have mediocre implements. What you so so what we need to do is have a specialized division of labor. Flacco throws, Watson runs. If Watson could even run, because he can't run. I just watched him get fucking sacked over and over and over again in the first game of the fucking year. Jimmy Haslam, you paid one billion dollars for the Browns. I get it. You're about to spend 
a quarter of what you did in five years on one player. I get it. You don't want to cut him. You don't want to fire him. But guess what? You're the fucking boss. It's time to step up and be the fucking boss. You own Pilot Flying J. I'm sure you've had to fire plenty of people because they weren't making you money. Fire fucking Watson. Get him the fuck out. If it were up to me, if I were you, Jimmy, what I would do is, is I would take all of the coordinating staff, the coaches, I'd take the fucking coordinators. Hell, I'd get the fucking water boy in a goddamn room and fire them all. Fire them all and call up the fucking cowboys. Call the cowboys. Uh, staff and just say hey guess what i'll pay you all plus 10 percent on all your salaries if you come do if you come coach and coordinate for me if you come staff for me because our staff fucking sucks these fucking calls on these fucking plays are mind-boggling and they have been for the last three goddamn years this has been insane all right we thought we had a good fucking thing going, didn't we? And, and 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 all we have done is squander opportunities that we could have used to forward the fucking team. Look, I get it. Who am I? Who am I to say where the money should be spent? All right. Yeah, I get it. I'm not I'm no billionaire CEO. I'm just I'm just a guy who's never wasted 250 million dollars on somebody that can't fucking play worth 250 million dollars. All right? This is absolutely insane. This is a this is a failure of coordination. This is a failure of coaching. This is a failure of team cohesion. There is no leadership on that fucking team. I keep hearing everybody say, "Oh, well, wait till Chubb gets back. Wait till Chubb gets back." Chubb's one guy. Chubb's one guy. We have seen the entire offense and defense fucking shit the bed because these are the first stringers. These are the guys that got fucking hurt last year and couldn't play. And and so, which basically, in my mind, means fuck it. The second string is the ones that won. Those that that's the real team. The second string guys are the ones that pulled all the fucking weight. Put the fucking first string on the back, put on the bench, and bring the fucking second line up, because they're the ones that actually won. Call up Flacco, see if you can talk him out of his fucking contract with whoever he's with right now. Get his ass back here. Kick Watson to the curb. This is absolutely insane who the fuck is calling the shots over there jesus christ jesus christ i i i have seen i've seen better football in fucking high school all right i've seen better football played by fucking ohio state a college team plays better fucking football than a professional nfl team fuck they got a better record too they have a better fucking record, too. I, I'm pretty sure high school teams have better fucking records and better fucking yardage and all kinds of other shit. Are you telling me that you, for all the money that we spend on these fucking players and they can't move the fucking ball forward? Three and out, three and out, three and out. That's all we fucking saw. You scored two touchdowns. You scored two touchdowns. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. You know what? It was still... 33 and 20 30 fucking three and 20 are you shitting me they were up they were up what uh 27 to three at one point 27 to three going 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 into the second half and you're and i'm seeing guys walking off that field patting themselves on the back you're patting yourselves on the fucking back for what for losing because you're gonna get paid that's the other thing who whose idea was it to guarantee money to these assholes? The whole fucking league needs to restructure itself. Uh, this is a problem that I've seen in the 30 fucking years that I've been alive is I have seen nothing but idiots don't be paid money to fucking lose. If you don't win, you should be paid to win. And you know what? You want to get you want to pay him one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to win a game. That's all. That's well and good. That's great. That's more than most people make in a fucking year. Do you realize? Let's just let's just back up for a second. Fifty million dollars a year. The man is paid. I just had to double check to make sure that my math was going to be correct. And, and it is. All right. The average person in the United States if it, I don't care if you black, white, whatever, the average, the aggregate for everybody is $50,000. $50,000 is the average salary in the United States as of 2024, okay? Deshaun Watson is paid more in one year to sit on a fucking bench 
than the average person in the United States will make in 1,000 years, all right? I want you to count 1,000 people that you know, give them each $50,000, that's how much Deshaun Watson makes in one year, to do nothing, to lose, paid to lose. He gets $50,000 to lose. Where does this make any sense? I can't, I can't imagine being the owner of a team and wasting that kind of money for, for nothing, to get no results. You can't be selling tickets. Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea? The Browns fans that bought the tickets to the first game have to feel like fools. They have to feel like they were cheated and lied to because to, to go for one person to go to a Browns game between parking, your ticket, your food and concessions is going to be pushing around about 150 bucks, around 150 bucks all in for one person. I know that when uh, my my uncle and my cousin, when they went to go uh, to the Browns game last year for just the two of them, it cost them about $225, 250 around there. For three people, it's going to be at least 250 up to 300 if you bring your wife and your kid, okay? You're telling me that people spent an entire day's wage. If you were paid, actually more than a day's wage, if you're paid $20 an hour and you spend $200 to go to a Browns game, you just had to work 10 hours in order to, in order to, to make enough money to afford to go there. That is a rip off, a fucking rip off. For, for three or four hours, well, not even three, yeah, no, yeah, about three and a half, four hours worth of not, I can't even say entertainment, it was just sad. You, 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 you pay $200 to get bullied is what you did. Holy shit, you're not going to sell any fucking tickets this year. Only fanatics are the ones who are going to go there, and those are the delusional people, the people who are deluded and who, and who, and who are willing to waste that kind of money to pay to go th- to, to do that. Holy shit. This is the worst start to a season after the high that we had last year that I could possibly imagine. I could understand losing by three. I could understand losing by seven. I could, you know, if you give it a good go, but you know what? They, they, they got one up, but no bullshit. The whole first half, the, 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 the fucking field goal was a fluke. Getting three on the board first was a fucking fluke. They ran you over. What are you patting each other on the back for? This is madness. This is absolute madness. I I don't fire them all. Fire them all. Fire the entire head staff. Fire them all and cut Watson. Call up Flacco again. Get as many people. Fuck it. We had so many options. We could, we traded our draft picks. We could have drafted some real good fucking boys out of college and we fucking wasted it. This is madness. This is a waste of money. Cleveland should be embarrassed. That's all I have to say on this. Have a good one. Deshaun Watson, Jimmy Haslam, you two could both suck my nuts. Deshaun, you can suck my left nut. Jimmy, you can suck my right nut.